Pixel 7 and the iPhone 14 is where the real battle between Google and Apple is going to be. Both these phones are expected to sell quite a bit more than their expensive siblings. Let's compare these phones in a few categories and see which one is superior based on the leaks. First up is the design and build quality. As talked about in my previous video, the build quality is going to be similar on both phones. Much like the Pixel 7 Pro, I would have to give the design win to the Pixel 7 due to its uniqueness and a bold design. The iPhone 14 on the other hand is exactly similar to the iPhone 13. Hence, the Pixel 7 easily wins this category. Next up is the display. And this is where Pixel 7 shines once again. Similar to the Pixel 6, the Pixel 7 will feature a 90Hz panel that will be smoother than the 60Hz panel of the iPhone 14. Honestly, Apple should start including a 90Hz panel on their non-pro iPhones, but I guess that's just wishful thinking. Even though the Pixel 7 might lag in terms of the screen brightness, yet the smoother display easily awards the win to the Pixel 7. Battery life is going to be a tight race between the two. Even though the Pixel 7 will feature a massive 4500 mAh battery, yet the iPhone 14 will give a tough fight with its relatively smaller battery. The power efficient A15 Bionic chip and the 60Hz will help the iPhone last longer, but we can't rule out Google's second gen Tensor chip. Hence, for now, we'll put a question mark in this area. I will be testing both phones out, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss it. Or you could be nice and still subscribe to the channel. Moving on to the software, this is a bit tough. I do prefer Android, but last year, the Pixel 6 had a really buggy release. I forgot to talk about this in my previous video, but now that I think about it, I would bet more on iOS 16 being stable than the Android 13 on Pixel 7. I do hope Google can prove me wrong. Where the iPhone should win is the performance. Just like always, the iPhone 14's rumored inclusion of last year's A15 Bionic chip should still be plenty fast for Google Tensor 2. I will also be doing a couple of speed tests, so once again, subscribe. Comparing cameras is going to be a bit tricky. Where Apple is going to rob iPhone 14 users of the 48 megapixel sensor, Google is still using the same sensor for the Pixel 7 as it will for the Pixel 7 Pro. And this is a big deal. Both phones will have an ultra wide as well. Now the lack of a telephoto won't be a big deal in the Pixel 7 due to Google's super res zoom. And we can rule out new gimmicky Pixel camera features as well. Video quality will still most likely be better on the iPhone, but unlike the 14 Pro Max winning over the 7 Pro, I am going to give the win in camera to the Pixel 7. That's partially because of Google using a bigger sensor and giving their users more software camera features. I highly doubt Apple will give astrophotography to the iPhone 14 users. Now the final discussion is the pricing. Last year, Google surprised us all by pricing the Pixel 6 at a perfect $599 US dollars. This is most likely to continue with the Pixel 7. The iPhone 14 is likely to cost the same as the iPhone 13 at $799 US dollars. This is a huge $200 difference and that is easily where the Pixel 7 becomes a great value Android phone. The only two things stopping Pixel 7 from being one of the best Android phones is a slow fingerprint scanner and a buggy software. The slow fingerprint sensor has been reportedly addressed by Google, but for software, it's a wait and watch. With the iPhone 13 and 14 looking exactly similar, I can't think of a reason why iPhone 13 users would want to upgrade to the iPhone 14. But let me know what you think. Until then, see you in the next video.